Cortez here. In today's video, I have an exciting new feature from Figma that so many people have asked me for in the past. Unfortunately, in the past, it wasn't possible, but now it is. So with password protection on Figma, they announced this in config 2022, and now you're able to actually password protect your files and your prototypes, which is great for working with clients, working with maybe students or folks that you don't wanna have full access to any of your other files. So let's get right into this. In today's video, I'll be going over three things for password protection. One is what can be password protected. Two, how do I turn on password protection? And three, how do I password protect my prototypes? To start, what can be password protected? So you'll have two things that you're able to password protect now. One is your individual files. So like this file that I'm in right here, I'm able to do that. But two, and probably more importantly, based on the requests that I've seen in the past, is now you can actually password protect your prototypes. So if you're presenting to a client and only want that specific client or person to see that, you're able to password protect those now. So the obvious question is, how do I actually turn on password protection? Luckily, it's very easy. So with Figma, the same way that you usually go about sharing here in the top right, you'll see the same thing that you're used to seeing, but underneath this dropdown with anyone with a link is going to be the primary one that you see as default. You're actually going to have this anyone with link and password as your new default. So you can set them to either edit, view, or only view prototypes. And then you can actually choose a password here. So let's just do an easy one. Actually show and hide that. And then I can save this. So then you'll get a message that you just set the password and you can actually go ahead and reset this if you'd want to change it. But now when somebody actually goes and opens this file, they'll be prompted to enter a password before they're allowed to enter. So next up is how do I password protect my prototypes? So it's a very similar thing that we're gonna be doing here. For this example, we'll actually go to our present, which is how you open your prototypes. We'll actually see this example prototype. I just put it in the same file so that we could use that as an example. But same thing here in the top right, I'm gonna to go to share prototype. And in this dropdown, I'm gonna have the same option of sharing with a link slash password. So you can set it again, can show and hide the password if you'd like, and then I can go ahead and save that. And if I wanna change that, I can go back to the setting and it'll change automatically. This new update with the addition of password protection I know has been super requested in the past. So I'm excited that they brought it now to Figma. So I hope it's helpful for all of you. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for more videos like this one around design, Figma, design systems, etc. And if you so choose, feel free to check me out on other social media. The links will be down in the description. Um, and my username on all of them is shyboytm. And lastly, if you're looking for some new music to listen to while you're working, I make some great stuff that's great for instrumental background music that you can have just as you're working on stuff. So I make that music under the name Cordio, and you can find it anywhere that you listen to music, Spotify, Apple Music, et cetera, et cetera. So hope you all enjoyed the video. Leave a like, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.